Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Luis. Hi, teacher. What's going on, Luis? How are you? I'm fine, how, teacher. How was your day? Uh, very well. You had a good day? Yes. All right, that's good. A lot of business, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> De todo un poco. Da bueno, de eso se trata. Survivor, survivor. Eh, una consulta para, para el, el, el mid, mid, mid uh -huh, uh -huh. Tenemos hasta el día de mañana. Correcto. Tenemos que estar completos con la sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm exam para mañana. El lunes empezamos sección Cuatro. Mañana es miércoles. Ah, pues sí, tienen mañana, jueves y viernes. El lunes empezamos sección 4. Deme ah, su okay. correo, pues quiero sí. ver cómo va usted. Eh, Luis. Carmona. Espérame, espérame. Instructor. Ya vamos a ver cómo va usted. Luis. Punto Carmona. Punto. Carmona. Carmona. Arroba tecnoavance.com. Arroba tecno. No, tecno. C, C, tecno. Avance.com. Avance. Avance con C. Avance. Sorry, my Spanish is not too good. <laughs> punto com. <laughs> Es ¿Así? mejor que mi inglés. Es mejor que mi inglés. <risa> ¿Así? Yes, yes. Okay. Vamos a ver. Oh, wow. Awesome. Excellent. Very good. Pero me dice 18% total. Sí, no, el 18% porque como todavía falta el Section 4, Section 5, el Final Exam. Uh -huh. Sí, pero ahorita como va, va excelente. Solo el midterm sí. necesitamos terminar el, esta día. Pero de ahí todo se ve perfecto. Sí, sí, hoy, hoy terminé. El, uh -huh. Y lo que pasa es que me llegó un, un mensaje de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. A todos les llegó, a todos. Uh -huh. No solo a usted. A mí pero también. Como... <ríe> Teacher, ¿ya no, están pero... sus alumnos terminando el Section 3 con el midterm exam? Yo, yes, yes, yes. No, lo que pasa es que, que ahí decía que, que teníamos hasta mañana. Ok. Bueno, nosotros pron pronosticamos empezar el lunes section 4. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. Sí, porque si no, muy, muy, muy rápido. Yes, I know, I know. Hi, guys. Hello, Ailey. Hello, Nubia. Hi, Adriana. Hello. Hi, Fabiola. Hi, Hi, Gabriela. Hi, George Antonio. Hi. Hi. Uh, the last person coming in. Okay. Diana. Welcome, guys. How are you? I am fine. Are you ready? Yes, ready. I always ready. <laughs> That's the attitude. Okay, who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What vocabulary, what expressions, what ideas? What exactly can you tell me from yesterday's class? Past to be. 
past tense of the. of the be verb. Can somebody give me an example using the simple past tense of the be verb? Somebody give me an example using the past tense of the be verb. One example. So, did you work late yesterday? Did you work late work. yesterday? Hmm. That's a correct question, and it's a good question, but... Did you use the be verb? No. No. But if you say, were you at work yesterday, then it's okay. Estuviste en el trabajo ayer? Were you at work yesterday? Hmm? Okay. Thank you, George. Another example with the be verb. I was visiting Huayua yesterday. Perfect. I was visiting Huayua yesterday, past continuous. Excellent. Today, we're going to review the video, the short video that we saw referring to there is and there are. This is a review. Another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying yes there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right, now in this section, what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to be looking at this over here. And you're going to give me five examples, five sentences here in the discussion forum, five. And you're going to write it there. 
you're going to use these Here, prepositions. Course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying yes, there is. Next one to. Next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. On. The gas station is next to the public library. Next. The shopping center to. is close or near the public library. Close. The telephone booth is across near. From the gas station. Across. The is in front of the post office. In front. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. Behind. Office. The plaza is between First National Bank be and the grocery between. store. The gas station okay. is on the corner of First Avenue. So you're going Make to sure use to as many as possible. Position of place. And you're going to write it in the discussion forum. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this exercise? Serían con la misma estructura que aparece en el video. Correct. That is correct. Very good, Adriana. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question. Another question. No, teacher. No, no. Okay. All right. So for this activity, I would like for you to work in pairs and complete the activity. Work in pairs and complete the activity. Okay. Hola, hola. Hey, Susie, what's going on, Susie? No me escuchan. I, I can listen to you, Susie. How you doing? ¿Qué pasó? What, who were you working with? Eh, Susi, vamos a poner su micrófono en silencio porque se escucha la televisión bien fuerte. Ok. Luis Bonilla, hello, hello. Vladimir, Susi, working pairs. Susie, you're going to be working with Adriana Nubia. Okay. No está hablando de más chicos, creo yo. Ah, uh, sí, es que todos están en sesión privada. Okay. Ahí va. Susie. 
Susie, are you there? Sí. sí. Ok, ya le mandé el enlace para que se incorpore en la 6. Tiene que darle clic al icono que le aparece en pantalla que dice ingresar sesión privada. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's going on? Nice. Are you there? The quest activity. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is you're going to be working with the section that we had right here related to the questions. Uh, is there a supermarket near here? Yes, there is. There is one across from the church. So you're going to write sentences, at least five sentences related to the prepositions. Okay, thanks. Uh huh, in the discussion forum. Grocery store, ya. Yeah. Va uno, ¿verdad? Dos. Sí. ¿Son cuántas? Cinco. Vaya. El otro podría ser Is there? Is there? Quiero ver. Is there a restaurant? No. Yes. Near here? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué no le ponemos one? Is there one restaurant? Para utilizar también los, los de cantidad que vimos ayer. Que, que usamos one, some... Pero creo que eso no se pone en la pregunta porque sería como muy redundante. Porque como, uh -huh. como... No, en este caso, en este caso no usas one porque como, como le querés oh, preguntar sería... si eh, eh, en inglés, si tú decís, por un, ejemplo. Un restaurante. Ajá, un restaurante. Es X restaurante. A restaurant. A yeah, restaurant, here. correct. Okay. A restaurant. No, no decimos one restaurant, two restaurants. Eh, los números básicamente se usan con cosas como estas solo para numerar. Ok, sería yes, there is. Ajá, one. el responder sí, yes, there is one. Sí. Eh, mm -hmm. On the corner of eh, Escalón and Juan Pablo, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. El restaurante. Quiero ver dónde está el restaurante. Aquí. Okay. Un restaurante, eh, on the corner of, sería, ¿verdad? Eh, it is ver. on the it corner of. on the corner of Pine Street en Maple Avenue. On the corner of Maple uh -huh. Avenue and, Pen, and Pine Street. Pine Street. Mm -hmm. And find street number three. Podríamos poner <coughs> the gas station. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Vaya, la tercera sería Is there a is gas there station? A gas station? Hagamos una negativa. Quiere. Cabal, near here. <laughs> near here. Uh -huh. 
¿Por qué no le ponemos una calle equivocada y luego corregimos la dirección correcta? Le ponemos, mm. por ejemplo, is there a gas station on the on the eh, may, on the Pine Street. Ajá. On the Pine Street le decimos no, hay una pero en el otro lugar. Vale, entonces sería yes, there is one. Sería, pero, como, pero como la pregunta cambiaría, ¿verdad? Is there a gas station? Sería on the, on the Pine Street, ¿verdad? Ah, que le pongamos en la, en la, hora, en la, en pregunta. la pregunta. Sí. Ajá, sería, is there a gas station on Pine Street? Ajá, on Pine Bye. Street. Entonces ahí le decimos no, ¿verdad? Ajá, en la respuesta. Uh -huh. Sería no. No, there, no, there isn't. Ajá. There isn't. Y luego le decimos, hay una. Ajá. Ajá. O, o, sí, es, o está, o there is. Sería bad, pero hay una. Ajá. Ajá. But there is one. Uh -huh. On, sería on the corner. On the, on the on corner. The corner. Mm -hmm. Avenue. Sí. And Main Street, ¿verdad? Yes. On the corner of First Avenue. Bernard Avenue. Yes. Avenue. In front of the. In front of. Burger King. <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> okay. In front of Burger King. Okay. The police station. ¿Cuál? Police station. Police, ah. ¿Cómo le ponemos entonces? There. There is one. No, there is. There is one. Ah, no, no, no. What? Huh? There are there are two. There are police station. Uh -huh. Two police stations. There are there are. Per... Ay, tengo lenta la inter. Dos. Dos or two. There are two. There are many. Mm -hmm. There are many. No. There are many. There are plural. There are. There are two police stations. Quería, quiere decir, okay. no. Okay. Police station. Where? Mm. <clears throat> There are two near 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 uh -huh. of the house of the school mm. of, the, of the park. There are no, mejor pongámosle there are two bus stops. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para que se... There 
there are there are two bus stop near two eh, centro comercial mall se dice yes the mall near to the mall to the mall the mall okay Nos falta next to, ya ocupamos near, from, in front of, the corner, between. All right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Awesome. Let me have one volunteer. I want to listen to your examples. Me, teacher. All right, Adriana. Is there a restaurant near here? Yes, there is one. It's on the corner of May. ¿Cómo se dice? El, el nombre que aparecía, Maple. Maple Street. Maple Avenue and Pine Street. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Adriana. Applause for Adriana. Thank you. Adriana, select somebody, please. Vladimir. Vladimir. Mm -hmm. Hello, Vladimir. Hi. Hi. Let me have one example, please. I am not in the class. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I just uh, sit down. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Select somebody, Vladimir. Um, um, mm, sure. mm, Diana. Diana. Is there one Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on uh, Fifth Avenue and my Main Street. Very good. Excellent, Diana. Select somebody. Luis Hernan. Luis Hernan. One example. Uh, is, is, there a, is there a Stadio Cuscatlan close? The band Cuscatlan? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is behind. Yes, there. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. There is behind Banco Cuscatlan. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do is move forward and we're going to continue with the next activity. For the next activity, you're going to be looking at 3.4 knowledge check. In this section, you're going to be looking at the locations. For example, number one, is there a mm near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Who can give me the correct answer? Library, hotel, or hotel. park? Hotel. 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 Number two. Is there a mm around here? Bank, gym, laundromat. Bank. Bank. Number three. Is there a mm near here? Department store. Department, Department. store. Okay. So you're going to complete this activity in pairs. Any questions? Oh, no teacher. Okay. Let's work in pairs right now. Let's go.
Hello. Hello, Nubia. Hello. ¿Ya hizo esta actividad? Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, uh, me too. But we can practice. If we... Okay. Okay. Is there... Una pregunta a usted, una pregunta yo. Yes. Is there a hotel near here? Usted eh. me contesta. Ah, yo la respuesta. Uh -huh. Y ahí después mm, switch. Ya, 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 ya. Ok. Uh, yes, there is one. It is, one. it is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Is there a bank around here? Yes, there's one. It is next to Princess Grocery Store. Okay. Is there a department store near here? Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Uh, is there a gas station on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but one on First Avenue and Main Street. Okay, are there a gross, are there grocery store on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and O'Day's department store. Is there a electronic store on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from shopping center. Is there a pay, pay phone around here? Yes, there is. There is, there is uh, one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Is there a public library near here? Yes, there's one next to gas station. Are there any restaurant on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Okay. Ahora yo pregunto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a hotel near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Is there a bank around here? All right, let me have one volunteer and I want you to give me the answer for number four, one volunteer. Me teacher. Susie. Leo la oración? Correct. Okay. Is there um high avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one of Fifth Avenue and uh, Main Street uh, gas station. Cafe, gas station. Okay. The next one is. I have a question. Luis, yes. Sí, es que como ahí dice, eh, si hay una gas station en Pai Avenue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pero yo solo encuentro una Pai Street. Ah, okay. Es error de Yeah, it's just no, pero, Avenue Street. Pero como, como pregunta si hay si hay una gas station. 
No, pero la, la respuesta es no. Ah, let sí. me see. Gas station, no. Main Street, sí. Sí, and sí, First claro. Avenue. Realmente no. Mm -hmm. No, there sí, isn't. La respuesta dice que no hay. No, hay, but... no, there isn't. But there is one on First Avenue and Main mm -hmm. Street. So it's First Avenue and Main Street. Okay, so yeah, no, there isn't. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me have Adriana, number five. Adriana, number five. Um, are there grocery stores on Main Street? Let me see. Grocery stores. Excellent. Thank you. The next one, Dina. Okay. Dina. Is there a uh, near here? Yes, there is. It it is between the post office and um, all days department store. Is Jim. Jim. Okay. Number seven, Gabriela. Okay, number seven, George. Is there an electronic store on Second Avenue? Perfect. Diana, number eight. Is there a pie farm around here? Perfect. Nubia, number nine. Is there a public library near near here? Perfect. Yes. Public. There's, there is one next to a gas station. Okay. The pronunciation is not public, it's public. Pa. Public. 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 Very public. good. Yes. Public library. Very good. Public. Public. Very good. Public. 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 Very good. Thank you. Okay. Ailey Michelle, number 10. Uh, are there any restaurants on Spears Avenue? Perfect. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Do you have any questions related to this information? No question. Question. No questions? No question. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now, um, right now, what we're going to do is continue with the next activity. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at the following section. Are you ready? Here. Okay. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many, how much, with quantifiers. 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 Everybody, listen to the conversation. I think participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. 
In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. It's not too safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. At this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Any questions related to this information? Okay. Somebody? Questions about vocabulary? Questions about pronunciation? Anything? Okay. Pronunciation, com conven convenient, convenient. Convenience. 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 How do you like your new apartment? Convenience. 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 How does that convenience? It's oh. very, it's very convenient. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Convenient. 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 With T. It's very convenient. Convenience. With convenient. T. Uh -huh. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Me teacher. <laughs> George Antonio and Luis. George, you're going to be Nick. Luis, you're going to be Pam. Ready, action. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Mm -hmm. Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I lie on the fixed floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that my car alarm. I call you back later. Applause for the participants. Very good job. Good work. <laughs> okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to practice the conversations in pairs. You're going to practice at least five times. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Ready, let's Let's go, Cecilia. Let's go, Katy Sines. Let's go, Carla Esquina. Let's go, let's go.
I love it. It's downtown, so it's very, uh, very con convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean. Co ¿Cómo se dice Korean? Korean. 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 Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's, that's my car alarm. I call, I call you. Espérame que se me movió esto. I'll call you later. Okay. Your star. Mm -hmm. Cambiamos de personaje. Bueno, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth, fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, of, a lot. In fact, there is, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking, garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I mm -hmm. call you back later. Okay. <laughs> Seguimos. Seguimos. Yeah. Otra vez, Nick. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very con convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact. There's an excellent Korean place, Joe's. All right, let me have two participants, please. Two. Me, teacher. Okay, me excellent, teacher. Nubia. Thank you, Nubia. Thank you, Adriana. So, Nubia is going to be Nick, and Adriana is going to be Pam. Ready, action. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. How long? That's my girl laugh. I call you back later. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Good job, ladies. Now, for this activity, you are going to write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. You're going to write a similar conversation like this one in the discussion forum. Any questions? 
No. No questions. Let me have two participants. Nuvia, select somebody. Adriana, select somebody. Susie. 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 Luis. Luis. Okay. Luis, you will be Nick. Susie, you will be Pam. Me? Uh, hay, que, hay que cambiar la conversación. No, ahorita solo la van a practicar en pareja. Okay. Uh, voy con Nick, but. Correct. How, how do you like your new apartment? Okay. Creo que tiene Me problema. Teacher? Okay, go ahead. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there a moist mouse? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many, how many restaurants are there near your place? Your place? A lot. If in fact there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find, find a place on the street. Is there a moist cry? No, it's pretty safe. Or how on the depths my car alarm? I call your back leather. Perfect. I'll call you back later. Applause for the Yay. participants. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do uh, for the next activity is we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at the following section. In the following section, I want you to notice that we're looking at section 3.7. On 3.7, we're going to be looking at, in this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Quantifiers, listen, please. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers, how many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay. So in this section, what we're going to do is right here at the bottom, five questions using how much and how many. Five questions using 
how much, and how many. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. Ready? Let's do it in pairs. Sure. Hi. Um, um, sorry. Yes. Uh, incontable. Uh, Un no. Uncountable. Uncountable. Um, Countable. Countable. That's right. Um, a lot. A lot. That is correct. A lot in a lot of. Um, mm -hmm. How many? How much? How many? How much? Uh -huh. How many? How much? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Fabiola, let's go. Kati, Sines, let's go. Hello, Kati Sines. Este, pues viene donde anotar porque yo no tengo acá. ¿Se tiene donde anotar? Sí, sí, yo tengo. Ok, este, la primera podría ser. How una, many? Mm. Uh, how many? Mm. How many? How many eat junk food? Creo que es comida rápida, ¿verdad? Of course. How many food core? Eat food, eat, eat junk food. How many food core? O sea, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? No sería como cada cuánto come comida chatarra. Cada Algo cuánto. Eh. No sé si así Entonces se sería how much. Oh, much. No, pero, no, pero quiero ver, pero cada cuánto. No, sí, está bien how many, porque está hablando de algo que se puede contar. Uh -huh. How many. Entonces, ajá. How, how many do you... How many eat... Do you, how young. many do you eat? How many do you eat? Uh, para cuánto comes? Pero es que yo creo que para how, how many, o sea, ese no es. Tenemos que el, usar el auxiliar. O no, no, no tiene que ser how often, el, lo que estábamos haciendo al principio. Mm, sí, no es para, tienes razón. Entonces, eso es para preguntar cuántas cosas hay, cuántos lugares hay, cuántos, mm -hmm, sí, tantos, tienes razón. Tantos. Vale, aquí dice, vamos a ver, quiero ver aquí está bien. Vaya, how many. Por ejemplo, podemos preguntar, hay muchos. Uh, um, are there. Are How many dogs? Do you have how many dogs do you have in your house? No, así que in your house. Oh, I know oh, how many dogs in your house. ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos perros en tu casa? ¿Cuántos? Do you have? Sería como tú tienes, ¿verdad? Como ¿Cuántos? How many dogs? Yes, that is correct. How many dogs do you have in your house? Okay, guys, time's up. It is time to go. 
So I got to let you go and we will continue tomorrow. Please continue working in advance in the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.